Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more From the Depths. Going to be continuing some of the campaign madness. Now, the week of From the Depths is now over at this point, so I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to have to do with it. At the moment, for this week at least, I am likely... Oh no, they took down the pod racer. No, pod racer. Why, you monsters. Now, nah, anyway, enough of that. Uh, for this week, I will be doing uh, two-hour videos, one for Tuesday and one for Thursday. I'm going to be having a uh, new announcement vote video soon. Uh, basically, in the next coming months here, I'm going to have to be throttling back a lot of my series. At the moment, I'm running like six different series. There's Cataclysm on Mondays. There's Project Zomboid on Tuesday. Kenshi on Wednesday, which only has an episode or two left. There's RimWorld on Thursday. Friday was Cripple Space Program, but I'm debating dropping that entirely right now. Just because, you know, I'm not very good at it, I would say. You know, I'm, I'm not really good at building rockets that are fit into the cri current criteria of the campaign. Of, you know, limited spending and such. I'm used to building really big, expensive rockets to get even the simple things done in a way. Just because I used to like to do it that way, so... You know, I don't have the time and the leisure at this point to invest into learning a lot of the intricacies of that, so I'm probably going to drop that entirely. And, of course, on Sundays, there's Dwarf Fortress. Saturdays, nothing at the moment, but uh, I'm going to have to limit those to maybe like three a week, roughly, give or take. Three series a week. And uh, I may do some extra little bits and, you know, bobs during the rest of it as well. Such as uh, all the alpha stuff I do with, uh, say, the Deadlinger if it gets an update, or uh, Shadows of the Avatar, and all that kind of stuff. Let me load the campaign, though, for now. Get this started so we can start getting some resources. I may do something different as well for... You know, I, I do a lot of alpha games, I do a lot of beta games, a lot of prototype games, you know, pretty much anything that's early development and in the works, I tend to focus on as my, uh, the main kind of, well, I wouldn't say goal, but the, you know, the, it's the main focus of my page, of my YouTube page. So, I'm going to do probably more of that soon here. Let me actually take on these guys here. I'm going to take on these last two zones, and I'm going to head back and start doing some designing and such. But uh, I'm thinking of doing even more for that. You know, there's a lot of stuff we're getting in early access for Steam and such, and I would like to, you know, pick up each and every one of them, or most of them, at least the ones that look good, and do, you know, play them for a couple hours, do a little overview on what you can expect for it, show a little gameplay, and then just leave it with that. But, you know... As it stands, I don't really have any amount of time to do that kind of thing. Oh, there's the guy who just kind of fluttering in the water over there. Floundering in the water, I guess would be the correct term. Yes, floundering indeed. Uh, silly air unit. Then again, I did spawn in the water. I didn't hit spawn in the air. That's my, it's probably my own damn fault then in that case. Let me launch this missile. So I'd like to do that, but of course I will still have time constraints depending on how often I'll be able to do that. Let's go ahead and ride these. Not quite an Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me fix this now. Something I've been delaying for a long time now. I need more fuel tanks. So let me go up near the top here. Fins. And then fuel tank. Now that should allow it to get the range it needs. Because the thruster just should increase speed. It's the tanks that, you know, I need to use for the rest of it. Tab. Get myself aligned here. I like my shield. It works really well. There we go. That should hit beautifully now. Boom. 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 Oh yeah, this poor guy's done. Poor guy is done. Next time I'll spawn my airship properly. Oh, here we go. Here comes missile barrage. Looks like they're a bit too low, though. Or a little too short. A little bit too short range to hit him. Of course, the, uh, he is basically laying a whole bunch of mines, but he's also wasting a whole lot of metal to reinforce him. Oh, there we go. See, they're kind of skipping along and they're hitting him. They're actually skipping through the waves like torpedoes and decimating the guy. Look at that. Wow. 
Of course, the same thing could happen to me, so I should probably be careful. Those are a lot of active missiles just sitting in the water right now. Okay, let's engage the next area. I need to rename the... I need to rename all these boats here soon, because they're not as they are. Like, that's not a double barrel support ship. It's a quad barrel support ship and stuff like that. Okay, engage. We'll fight the next enemy. And then maybe we might finish off the other two zones, but, you know, I'm debating it. I'm thinking I'm just going to head back and uh, start building the new super ship. Basically, before I do that, though, I'll be testing a lot of different... I basically need to build a small base and do some weapon tests. Actually, I might even destroy my ship here. I think I'll do that, yeah. My friend, why are you upside down? Looks like it damaged itself. Oh, well, my tentacles repaired it, so it should be good to go. Let's see how far my missiles go now. Oh, never mind. Not that it matters, but he's already decimated the get damn guy. Wow, those poor those poor airships. They don't even stand a chance anymore. It's just instant and complete obliteration. Let me go for this big 31, and that'll be it. put you in the air engage so we'll take on this big fleet here and then we'll move on but yeah I will be working more in the uh, winter here once again so I do need to restrict a lot of the uh, time I will have to build all or to do all this stuff but because I will be restricting myself to three different series I could be doing a similar style uh, as to what I have been doing with from the depths that's part of what I want to uh, vote on in the coming days here. I'll have a big uh, video up for that. Let me launch these missiles here so we can ride them while I just dis discuss with you. With you dudes. So part of it will be a bit of a popularity test on, you know, what's your favorite series out of all the ones I have and which ones would be, would you prefer are kept running? I guess I could say. Now, this won't be a definitive, you know, okay, this one's got 80%, so I'm going to go with this, you know. I'm going to take a bunch of different modes into consideration with that. Obviously, you know, how much we've done to the series, how long it'll actually last for, stuff like that. Uh, as well as the time that we'll be spending on them. So I could do 30-minute videos, you know, three times or four times a week, or I could do hour-long video once or twice every week really be debatable how we uh, set this up. Yeehaw! 40 velocity, drag, and fuel just went out. So yeah, it needs more fuel. It needs a lot more fuel it seems. I'm surprised those little missiles are reaching. Oh, another one bites the dust. Oh, let's get them. Oh, they ran out of steam. No, we're so close. No. Ah, oh, well, the other one's pretty much dead anyway. I mean, all I, I don't even need my other ships at this point. I just need the one... Oh, damn, that just whipped past my face. A oh, bit of lag here for a second while it disassembles all these ships. Another one bats of dust. Do we even have anything left, I swear, at this point. There we go. They're all dead. They're all dead now. There's nothing even to shoot anymore. Oh man, that just that vessel just seems to take all the fun out of it. Alright, let me return home. I'm going to leave these two here for now. I'm going to take the Shredder back home. To the main home. Good old... Good old home base.
I'll have to come back and repair those other two. Or maybe not at some point. We'll see what happens here. Where's my base at? There it is. Let me shut down the drills. I don't need them anymore. Okay. I'll be using this ship as a bit of an experiment ship while I test a few things. Come on. Let's get on over here. Now, it's actually incredibly... People were asking how, you know, to make a submarine and stuff like that. Now, to get a basic, you know, just a ship that goes underwater is incredibly easy, actually. All you have to do is go build, E, water, and get yourself some hydrofoils. And you'll also need a more complicated... Let's add six to each side here. Where would I put that thing? Uh, put it too high up. Let me remove that. Just grab the hydrofoils. Go to the other side. And let me go B again. And destroy this. Oh, I see. I was trying to build on the weapon. Now, control, vehicle controller, and an actual vehicle controller. You need the advanced one in order to do this. It won't, the simple one won't do it. So then all you have to do is throttle up and hit U, and the hydrofoils will allow you to sink beneath the surface. I should be going a little bit further down, but I might need more hydrofoils, depending. Yeah, looks like I might need more hydrofoils. Actually, let me add some to the back here. Water. Hydrofoil, hydrofoil. That's not water. Get another six on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just got to go again forward and then you. It's not quite helping. It's like adding one to the back was a mistake. Either way. Trying to stop myself, but it's not quite working out on me. We go to the back of the ship. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it the back of the ship or did I just try to frack me? I did. I did. Well, shit. Too late for that, then. I wish I knew what the hell I was... Oh, it's the shield generator. That's what it's, you know, moaning and groaning about. I have six. Alright. Now, let's try this again. Whoops. Oh, no. Stop it. It's going to flip. Yep. Well, for some reason, we're completely unbalanced with this ship right now. If it was balanced, though, we would have just gone right out of the water. It wouldn't have been a damn problem. But we had issues. So, let me return to this area map for a second. I'm not going to stay here for long. I just need to return so I can get my damn vehicle under, out of the water again. So all you really need is hydrofoils, and you're good to go. Return a friendly area. There we go. Now, since I'm going to use this thing as a testing rig, I need to get rid of my missile launcher. So thank you for your fine service. I'm afraid you must go. Uh, 
There we go. Now without with that in my way constantly, I should be able to do some uh, nice testing here. Let's get rid of the shield generator. Won't need that. Get rid of this. Uh, I'll get rid of these repair bots for now. I just want to block off this whole area a bit. I won't even need my drills with what I'm testing out, but hey. I'll keep them for now. Let me get rid of this, though. Okay, let's go near the... Tab. Can't see where the hell I'm going. Let's go near our ship. That way it can help us build. Oh, crap. Wait, I forgot to destroy these. I better destroy them both now before they put me under. Or, yeah, spin me out. Okay, let's go. So yeah, had I, if I had a perfectly balanced ship, they would go on, it would go under the waves perfectly fine and would do fairly well for that, but my ship is terribly balanced, so yeah. Anyway, that is not the kind of stuff I'll be testing. Now, I should mention that a lot of people have been asking me to mess around with the laser systems. And I do have a basic idea of how to set up a laser system, even how to possibly even set up a, uh, what's it called? Blarg. A miss uh, laser turret, per se. It took me a while to figure out exactly how the hell the thing worked. It was, you know, it was mildly difficult to say the least. Now, so to set up a basic laser turret, we need a whole bunch of different bits and bobs. Now, if I go to custom cannons, we got the multi-purpose laser down here. And uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Actually, there is a prefab one that I can pull in. A laser weapon extremely low grade. Just kind of pop this down here. And it'll, get, it'll give us a basic laser weapon. So we take our, whoops, let me go over here, multi-purpose laser block with a, god, I'm jumping around way too much with the camera here, with a laser coupler behind it, a couple laser Q switch and a laser Q switch on either side. Those, I believe, turn it in from a beam into a, let me go into custom cannons, multi-purpose laser Q switch, there it is. Yeah, they turn it from a laser beam to a pulse firing laser. Alright. Right here we have the laser cavity, which we use to generate the laser, and the pumps which generate the uh, power for the laser. In the back we have the frequency doubler behind that, which basically increases the damage. And the destabilizer, I'm actually not sure what the destabilizer does. Let's see, laser destabilizer. Placed on the cavity, the destabilizer will dramatically increase the energy when firing. This increases damage. So it's a damage increaser, whereas the frequency doubler can be attached anywhere on the line. The laser cavity increases the frequency of the laser as such, increases the armor piercing value. Ah, I see. So it increases armor piercing and the other this and the destabilizer increases damage. I see. I see. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, if I didn't want this to be a... Let me actually kind of back up a little bit here. If I can, which I can't, apparently. I don't want to blast my own ship. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to remove that. That's my bad. Laser connector. Oh, it's not behaving for me. What? Oh, I see. It's that freaking middle mouse button crap. Well, goddammit, I just destroyed this perfectly good laser. How dare I? How dare I? Hmm, let me see. Laser combiner. No, it goes up top. And... Coupler. Yeah, it's a laser coupler. That I was looking for. Now, I can add on laser optics, which will increase the range. 
and the steering optics which will widen how far this laser can actually shoot now if I find out which actual key it's on I think it's on slot all and that's the one difficulty with this thing let me you know, let me remove that entirely because it seems to be not functioning at all now let me replace this back the way it was Okay, building these lasers seems to be just incredibly difficult for, you know, God knows what gain. Seems to be just a major pain to have to remember, you know, what has to be hooked up where precisely in order to have this function. Now, because if I hit all now, if I try and fire, it doesn't really want to fire the cannon. Modify the behaviors, put it on one. See, no beam energy, no nothing. I can't seem to fire this, even as a basic laser, and it doesn't really want to work properly. So, very odd how to hook this thing up. Like, even the prefabbed dev version of this thing, you know, the one the dev made himself, does not want to fire. Could be that I'm just too cl not close enough to it. Let me try that. Try getting right up into his face. Yeah, that's the problem. It wasn't close enough to the thing. You can see it fires like a little burst beam right here. If I remove these two... It'll now fire as a constant laser. As you can see, it's kind of blue. Let me kind of use my fortress here as a guide. Doesn't really do much, as you can see. So, lasers can be made to be incredibly powerful, but they also require an insane amount of engine power to actually get them running. And frankly, I don't feel like building gigantic engines just to make a laser. I mean, it doesn't even really look that big of a laser. I was hoping that the uh, the optics that you put on the end there, that allows you more of a, uh, a degree of fire. I had hoped that they would uh, increase the size of the laser beam itself. That would have been badass. Like, if you were shooting out some gigantic effing beam right there, that would have been amazing. And I would have loved it. But without that, meh. Now, I could have put that on a turret and let it kind of go with that. But anyway, that's actually what we'll be messing around with right now. So I want to get a precision turret here. And I want to test out some things. It's going to be a fairly simple little weapon right here right now. Just a firing piece. A couple recoil suppression barrels. Let's go four. Okay. Uh, ammo loaders... Ammo box. I really don't need this thing to be too magnificent at all. I'll just go like this. I'm going to be destroying it afterwards anyway. Now, the thing that I'm trying to judge is how well this thing does when it's not blocked. Like, usually what I would do at this point is I would go in and I would create a shield for it. Of course, usually I, sometimes I go like this, sometimes I don't. Now, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what kind of angle we're looking at here. You can see that the angle of this thing is incredibly poor right now. It cannot angle up at much at all. Now, let's try removing this and see how much of a difference that makes. Trying to angle myself properly. Now the barrel can angle up a little bit, but it still can't seem to really elevate that much on this uh, type of base. So, let me remove that and go custom cannons. I want to try getting a couple elevation barrels here first, followed by recoil barrels. Let me add a couple gauge increases on this thing as well, just to give it a, give it a more zing. Now let's see how high this thing can go now. Oh, that's a much better range of movement with that. Still not as good as I could as I would like it, but this is not bad. 
See how inaccurate it is, though. It is like wildly, wildly inaccurate. And that's the downside of the elevation barrel. It allows it to move around a lot better, but then if then it also uh, restricts how much how accurate we can be. Yes, and actually, ooh, that's nice. That it actually gives you a warning for that now. To edit this, please redo the menu or click on it or hold on it. Blah, blah, blah. Look at it and then hit B. Derpa derpa do derpa d. Alright, up I go. Now, the reason why I'm removing all this is because I'm going to change the base, and I can't really do that without destroying it. You go build again. Okay, 360 degree turret. I want to try the 180 turret and see how much it can bank up. Okay. Nah, not go that high. Let's go custom cannons, firing piece. Cause I will, if I can, I don't want to have to rely all that much on the elevation barrels to make it go up like that. Like I've seen some designs where it seems like the barrels a lot more freeform, but I'm not 100% sure on exactly what they did to achieve it for that. Uh, let me see if I can find an example at some point. Well, let me just kind of build this for now and give it a test and see what happens for that. Well, I already realized exactly what I was looking for for that. You know what? Let's take a look. Let's take a look for a second here. Let's save the game. Let's save over new save for now. And let's go investigate what other people have done. There's a specific ship that I think I'm looking for, but trying to find it is going to be a task in and of itself. Because there are a lot of ships in this pack. A whole lot of ships. So, this will be interesting. We'll have to look at the various designs of the guns on this and see if we can find a good one. Load vehicle. Let's see here. You can see what I mean. Look at all this. Like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's try. Do I want to try the Little Wonder? Yeah, let's try the Little Wonder. If I select this right here, if I can even, you can see that it has a lot more movement. Of course, it's because it's on a very tall base. It is held up a l quite high from the ground, so it has a good freeform ability to access a much terrain. It can rotate down. It can bank all the way till the back end hits the ground here. So that's a pretty good setup for you know giving it the ability to shoot any target you really want it to hit. This is not the ship I'm looking for, but it's still an interesting design nonetheless. This one, of course, is probably... Let's see how well you aim, my friend. You can bank all the way back to this, and you can kind of bank all the way around, but it's still not that... Not too crazy. How fast do you fire? Uh, it's still fairly inaccurate, but it has a good rate of fire to it. So all in all, not bad. Let's see, what does it use here? We got some motor-driven barrels, followed by recoil suppression barrels. So the motor-driven barrels would increase the arc and the range. And then recoil suppression, of course, to lower the uh, or the recoil, and thus increasing accuracy. This thing as well looks like the same design, motor-driven, then recoil. That's one way to do it, most definitely. Alright, let's check out the next ship. Biggest gun. No, that, that thing is ridiculous, but it's not what I'm looking for. Let's try the Bismarck. This thing, oh god, it's going to be massive. It is going to be ridiculously massive. Oh, yep. Now, this is the kind of thing that I want to build right here. Some just ridiculous super cannon. Actually, this is almost exactly like how I want to build my ship. I'd, have, I'd be half tempted to spawn this thing in if it wasn't too ridiculously expensive. And this is what I want right here. This is what I want. You know, a good, like, being able to angle my turrets up like this. This much. Could you imagine this? This is exactly how I want to set up my turrets. Now, a good portion of what's helping with that is we have, I'm assuming it could be this right here, the rubber. Or is it rubber or lead? It looks like it's lead. I thought it was rubber. So there's a bunch of lead blocks. I believe that's for maybe stability, actually. Let's see what we're using here for a base. 
So, yes, I know it's a turret, but what kind of turret? I'm assuming it's a... Let's see. It's a, it's a 180 turret. You can only turn 180 degrees. But yeah, this is exactly how I want to be able to set up my turrets for the battleship. I would almost take this entire, or this entire, this specific ship if I could. Ah. So, we have the firing piece right here. Then we have a bunch of motor-driven barrels. Of course, they are not blocked as we saw before. Maybe the motor-driven barrels give it, ooh, that might be it. That might actually be it. I wonder though how much this would cost. Cause if I'm not mistaken. Let me go constructibles. Not constructible. Save sub object. Massive triple turret. I can. And it is 180 degree. So I'll be able to take this and redesign it and allow me to allow it allow me to use it. Now let me show an example of this. I love this sub object thing, it's like amazing. Especially when you have a pack like this, you can take really good designs for weapons. Let me kind of go forward here and say place right here. And it puts the base down and suddenly I have the gigantic effing cannons. This is absolutely perfect. It's for those that are, you know, they just don't want to design things or can't really, you know, aren't really good at designing things, you can quickly save and then edit sub objects like this. It's a little hard to aim. But let's see how much damage this thing does. This other ship here. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, disintegrated. If it wasn't so expensive, I would totally take this whole thing as my battleship. Obviously, I'm damaging my own ship a little bit, but hey, what can you do, eh? But yeah, that's that's basically you know how you can easily take really good designs and then use them in your own ship. Like this is literally the kind of ship that I wanted to make almost exactly. I mean, look at this. We have two extremely large cannons on the front. So yeah, this is pretty much the exact idea I had for my battleship already made right here. The only difficulty. <laughs> Pardon me. The only major difficulty with this ship is the same kind of difficulty I have with other designs. It's just too expensive. Let's see these little side cannons here. Not bad, little side cannons. I mean, this ship is effing perfect. Like, kudos to the designer. I don't know who you are, but you've made an amazing battleship. Absolutely perfect. It's got, I'm assuming these are, let me take a look here. Explosive warheads, target prediction guidance, and infrared. So these are just, you know, little mini missiles slash, uh... We launch these. Yep, they're just missiles. I thought they might be uh, torpedoes, but no, those are missiles. So one could add torpedoes to this, though, if they wanted to. And we have this whole missile platform here as well. I'm sure if I launched all these, they look like pretty long-range missiles. Yeah, we got one thruster, three fuel tanks, three fins, and a one turn. So it's really good at uh, steering. It's not too fast but it's got enough fuel to get it to where it wants to go. So all in all, this is one badass ride, I have to say. And now that I have the sub-object saved, I can load it in-game at any time to be built and just plop it down. So definitely, definitely make use of the sub-objects. At some point, I really do hope the sub-objects get their own system similar to that of the ships. That way you only have to drop it into like the sub object like take a cannon like this, save it, drop it in the sub-objects folder, or, you know, give it to somebody, and they just have to drop it in their folder, and there they go, they can summon it. Uh, and then it could probably just, you know, organize it. Of course, then it would be like, well, how's it going to organize it by slot? It could probably organize it alphabetically or something, I would assume. And then that would be done. That easily. 
But yeah, this thing wasn't made of a ridiculous amount of metals. Like, you know what? Let's just do a, let's have a little fun, shall we, with this? Let me see if I can remove... I'm going to remove this bit right here. Because it's going to block the missiles that it'll be firing. There we go. Remove that perfectly. Alright, let's get into the captain's chambers. Wherever the captain's chambers are. Somewhere up here, I'm assuming. Close the door behind me. There we go. Arr, the captain's quarters. And here's everything I can control. You can set the gauges to display certain things, forward speed and everything. Uh, let's see, remote vehicle controllers and cameras. So if we had certain cameras on the cannons or whatever. So there are actually cameras. Let me see if I can set one up here. On this main cannon up top here. Let's go into, I believe it's in control. Wireless camera. There we go. Now, if I click on this wireless camera, view own cameras, you can see that we're this wireless camera right now. And the one I just placed. Now, I can't really control anything from here, it seems, but I can at least see what's going on. So if you want a, you know, a good view of the battle from the front lines here, then there you go. There you go. We have different uh, little bits here. These are control or control switches, so you can affect, say, the air pumps. Uh, so on spawn, activate air pumps to 100%. Uh, affect, disable air pumps. I wish that you would just, you could, at the moment it seems like a very difficult way to trigger it, like I can't just cook it to a key. But it would be nice if I could. So anyway, let's start with the fun. Let's go enemy spawn GUI. Let's get some ships. So I just spawned an absolute ton of ships. Alright, let's go. Forward! It's fun playing with people's toys. <laughs> Same with this guy right here if we can. Doesn't look like it's automated. This is actually a fully controllable battleship. I can't really see if I'm aiming correctly at this thing, but anyway. Looks like I decimated most of the enemies here. Let's fire all the missiles. So that's the one turns. Oh god damn, look at that. It's the Mr. Pradas. You will die now. Holy god, look at those. Oh, this poor guy. This is gonna be decimation. I can't wait. Nail him, boys! Wow, this is ridiculous. There's our enemy right ahead there. This is absolutely ridiculous. Could you imagine having something like this in campaign except AI controlled? That would be beyond insane. Oh, that's too much fun. But anyway, I just wanted the design for this thing, so let's see. Looks like it has a double space in between. I kind of wonder how the inner works, inner workings were made here. Whoops. No camera. No camera! Let's take a look. So... Because if you don't do it just right, you're going to end up uh, overlapping 
the upgrades and they're not going to function properly as a triple cannon. I see, I see. Because it's so far back, it makes up and everything else. Okay, that's enough of that, though. That's enough of that. Return to main menu. Let's go back to the campaign. We spent enough time screwing around in there. So I got my design. Now I just need to build a battleship worthy of it. And it's going to be crazy, I'm sure. Going to be absolutely crazy. Which will be good. Let's remove you, my friend. Or not. That was awkward for a moment. Weird. Anywho. we Hop on over. Ah, my lovely ship. Alright, let's go blocks, wooden block, wooden block. Or not wooden block, I need to go constructibles first. Vehicle, new vehicle. Urch. Alright, let's stretch this baby out. That's going to be an incredibly long vehicle. It's going to have some crazy engines on the inside, which will be guarded by metal. Metal! I don't really even have a specific design of how long I want this thing. I just want it to be really long. Considering the size of the cannons, this might not even be enough. I want to have at least one on each, or one on each, two on each side. So I'll bring this a little bit more forward. I'm sure I'll be able to tweak this later if I really want to. Now I'll be putting the base underneath this. I could use lead. I think I will for the absolute center, maybe. That's going to be too heavy to keep this thing afloat, but that's okay. We'll be fixing that momentarily. Wood block, wood block. Let's get a basic kind of ship going on the bottom here. This will be stretched out quite a bit. Oh yeah, we're completely weighted down now. That's okay. Doesn't matter to me if we're at the bottom of the sea. We'll bring this baby back up here eventually. Keep this going. Actually, yes. There we go. That should do well. Now, let's go water, get some air pumps. Add that right to the back then. All right. Block, wood block, wood block. Let's seal this off. It's good to finally be using up a lot of natural. We have so much of it stockpiled.
Okay, anyway. I believe I'm sealing this baby up. Now, I want to try and keep her as balanced as possible as well. Now, this lower portion's not going to be armored. I may actually... Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's go resources. Ammo barrels. Hopefully we'll never get hit down here. I expect this to be so uh, laying so low in the water though that shouldn't be a problem. And let's get fuel storage tanks. Processor. Processor. And I'll put the ammunition processors on the other side. Probably one, two. Oh, it's wrong. There we go. We'll get four of those. Whoops, didn't mean to cancel the build. Let me hop on over here so I can finish it up. All right, blocks, wood block, wood block. This is going to be incredibly wide eventually. Oh, shit. I forgot about that bit. Resources, fuel processor. Okay, blocks, wood block. Perch. The other end won't have that same problem. So we now have our basic hull. Now I can still enhance the keel more with uh, more lead. If I need to sink this baby some more, which I probably will eventually. I'll end up making it a uh, four block uh, keel. So I'll have two on each side and then, you know, one big one down the center below the one that's already down there. But that'll be later. This whole thing's still got to go up some. There we go. Slowly extending this forward. Let's make sure I did the same thing on the other end. It's going to be pretty much a mirror image if I get this done properly. Whoops. Alright. So, of course, now I'm going to want to continue this. As always, slowly rising it up. This will be the central chamber where I'll have the engines and everything. All the rest of the crazy stuff. Okay. Whoops. Perfect, perfect. Slowly advancing everything forward. At least to a point. I think we're slowly reaching that point here soon. Alright. 
Whoops. Well, I'll need that in a second. It's a very odd design, but it's what I'm going to go with. Alright. Oh, sorry about that. Sounds like someone's whipping things around upstairs. Now, I guess this will be the unofficial, official rear of the ship. Let's go engines, engine block. And... Be one long crankshaft, baby. One long shaft. Alright, cylinder. Then again, I doubt I'll need this much of an engine, so I'll probably end up cutting off a portion of it here. It's not like I'm building laser beams. Although the whole la AI, was it laser beam AI defer AI? Uh, Anti-air defense system intrigues me. I'm just not sure how the hell the thing is set up. There should be a prefab of it, but I'll have to look at it and, you know, experiment a bit and see what the hell it even is supposed to accomplish. Oh, no, it wasn't anti-air. It was uh, anti-missile was what it was. Okay. Urge. Got a little bit excessive there. Oh, well. That happens. And now it's ready for everything else. Let's get... I'll say six for two. There we go. It's a bit uneven, but that's okay. Then we'll get our exhausts in here. Beautiful. So we have our engine. Now I want to expand this, I would say at least two more blocks high, give or take. Very nice. Looks good. Let's make sure the other side is the same. Okay. We add. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what the problem is because I didn't extend that all the way like I intended to. That's what it was. Okay. Thought it was odd that it wasn't balancing out there properly. Fixed it. Fixed it. Alright, it's looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty darn good. I believe if I'm correct, this will be the right way to build it. This could be one large freaking hull here. Ah, that might be a little excessive, I think, for what I've there we go. Besides, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get everything set up perfectly, it should be fine. Even if it means an extra step or two. 
Alright. Yeah, even though it would have belonged here, still, it's best just to get it done the right way first. That way there's not as much confusion about how this thing's supposed to be done. Okay, was that two blocks or was that one block high? I think I need one more. Yep, one more. So... And then this is where I'll level everything off here up top. Ah oh, yes, haven't finished this yet, have I? There we go. I think I'm gonna cut this off like so, here. This is going to be the back near the engines. Which means it's only roughly going to contort to the design here. Um, let's see. Looks good, looks good. Let me just kind of pull this down more. Alright. Damn it, trying to adjust this thing. I should really use space more often. Space and alt. I do not use those enough to build this stuff. Alright. There we go. Looks good, looks good. Alright, good to go. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. It's like, well, I will be filling that in a moment, but I don't want to mess around with it quite yet. Alright, let's fill her up. And then I'll go back down here. It looks like my time is almost up. And let's go blocks, lead block. It's time I adjust the keel. All the way. Looks like that went a little bit more excessive than I thought it would be. Okay, uh, let's go water, air pumps. That should be good. Oh, there's one more right there. Okay. Blocks. Would block, would block. That seems to have helped its swaying a little bit. To say the least. And I still have one more I'd like to add. One more layer of the keel I'd like to add. But if it's going to be too much for it, then I might not.
That'll be fine without the edge to it. Or without the center bit to it. Let's go ahead and close this off. Now, there's a lot of space underneath here. I can, you know, put in ammo barrels. I can put all kinds of stuff. But I think I have a better idea of what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. Because there's another type of gun design you can do for your ships. And let me kind of show that off here right now. I think I already showed this before, but uh, actually no, it looks like my time is pretty much up building the base of this thing. So I might just have to call it here for today then. Uh, almost filling all the gaps. Actually, I could probably use beams for this rather than individual blocks. But, meh. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. But yeah, no. I'll finish filling this whole thing up later. Basically, just as an example, what you would do is you would... For a turret, obviously I'd want to center it, so something like right here. Load it back a ways. We'll just go into Constructibles turret. Uh, 180 turret, so it's nice and stable. And then the next thing you would want to do is go into the custom cannons, six-way connectors. Obviously, the I might want this to be a little higher up, as it were. But generally, what you would want to do is just use this to set up part of your shit or part of your gun. However, you usually would. Not connected, obviously this, these weren't placed properly. But regardless, you would set them up down here like that. You would uh, go into blocks. Rubber block. If you extended them down near the bottom here, put a rubber block on it so that it would keep it from scraping against anything and really doing much damage. And then you build it up more, build the cannon as per usual, and you have an extra little bit down below that's assisting you with damage. But anyway... That's just one design that one of the other players uh, had come up with, and I thought it was really nice. If you really have a deep deck underneath your ship, I'm, th I'm thinking right now actually that this might not even be deep enough. I might have to make it another, you know, two blocks up and wide. Actually, yeah, looking at it, it looks like I might need to make another two blocks up and wide before I close this in here. So I may have to just remove this entire section of blocks again. Oh well, damn. This will be the back regardless, so everything will just kind of even out right here at this point. But that's going to be it for now. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this both look at the campaign and the uh, the vehicle editor and everything that happens to come with that. All the crazy shifts people have made. I will catch you all on Thursday for some more From the Depths. And we will see if we can complete this beast. And uh, get those gigantic cannons on it. If I didn't have a design myself, I'd probably make something like that. Where it was, you know, went under the ship as well. But I probably don't need to right now. But anyway, peace out everybody. See y'all next time.